Total Preparation Lucknow welcomes you all to its online program. Friends, in this video we would be discussing the weekly current affairs topics for the period of 18th of July till 24th of July 2020. Let's quickly begin with our first question. Which organization launched the first version of an e-portal called Aspire recently? The name of the organization is ICAT. An e-portal called Automotive Solutions Portal for Industry Research and Education Aspire has been launched for the automotive industry by the International Center of Automotive Technology ICAT. The Department of Heavy Industries DHI Government of India has embarked on a mission to promote innovation, R&D and product development in the country for various sectors. Under this mission, an e-portal will be created as a technology platform that will facilitate the development of technology, information exchange and innovation. Five portals have been developed by various organizations for specific sectors such as Bhel for power sector equipments, HMT for machine tools, CMFTI for manufacturing technology, ICAT and ARAI for automotive sector. The purpose of these portals is to create an ecosystem that will bring together all those seeking solutions and those with problem solving ability it will include industries academia research institutes startups professionals and experts icat is developing a technology platform for the automotive industry named as aspire the main objective of this portal is to make the indian automotive industry atmanirbhar Aspire portal has been developed by ICAT and its first version went live on 15th of July 2020 under first phase. The second phase of this portal is expected to begin by August 15th 2020. It is important to note that these measures are adopted to develop a strong and self-reliant automotive industry in India. which is in line with make in india and atmanirbhar bharat vision of the central government chatugram port which was recently in the news is located in which country it is located in bangladesh chitagong or chatugram is a major port and second largest city in bangladesh Chittagong is a deep water natural harbor. Union Minister of State for Shipping Independent Charge Mansukh Mandavia recently dispatched the first test container ship from Kolkata port to Agartala via Chatugram port in Bangladesh. This trial run is done under an agreement to allow the use of Chatugram and Mongla ports for movement of transit cargo to India through Bangladesh. This will provide a short route connecting Bangladesh's northeastern region through Bangladesh. Which agricultural equipment has been banned for imports by the government of India in its import policy? The name of this agricultural equipment is power tiller. According to a statement issued by the Directorate General of Foreign Trade, DGF FT the government has amended its import policy for power tillers and its components from free to restricted the importer is required to obtain a license from DGFT to import the product classified as restricted this move will probably succeed in curbing the import of equipments mainly from china Who has been appointed as a personal secretary to the President Ram Nath Kovind? The name of the personal secretary is P. Praveen Siddharth. Indian Revenue Services Income Tax IRS IT Officer of the 2001 batch P. Praveen Siddharth has been appointed as private secretary to the President Ram Nath Kovind. He replaced Vikram Singh who has been appointed as joint secretary in the Ministry of Shipping recently. He is currently serving as officer on special duty in the president's secretariat. 
According to the Project Today survey, which state was India's top investment destination in the first quarter of 2019-20? The name of the state is Tamil Nadu. According to a survey conducted by Projects Today, Tamil Nadu remained the top investment destination in India in the first quarter of 2019-20. The flow of investment in the state is rupees 18,236 crores, which is 18.63% of the total new investment. The state has signed 17 related agreements in May 2020. followed by Tamil Nadu Maharashtra has an investment inflow of rupees 11229 crores Who is the chairman of Telecom Dispute Settlement and Appellate Tribunal TDSET Justice Shivakirti Singh The Supreme Court of India has extended the tenure of the chairperson and members of the Telecom Disputes Settlement and Appellate Tribunal by 3 months. TDSAT is headed by former Supreme Court judge Justice Shiva Kirti Singh. His term will end on July 20 this year while the term of the other members of the tribunal has already expired. TDSAT has put a stay on trial order. recently which blocked Vodafone Idea's premium tariff plan Form 26 AS which was recently in the news is a document related to which organization So Form 26 AS is related to Central Board of Direct Taxes or CBDT Form 26 AS is an annual statement containing the information on various taxes related to reductions made on the income of taxpayers with an objective of helping the taxpayers to file their income tax returns quickly the income tax department of cbdt has recently introduced a new form 26 as the new form will calculate the correct tax liability and is expected to bring transparency in tax administration Form 26 AS not only contains information about the tax paid by the taxpayer to the government but it also mentions if he has paid more tax and wants to file his refund. Zoram Mega Food Park is located in which city? It is located in the city of Mizoram. Union Minister of Food Processing Industries Harsimrat Kaur Badal inaugurated Mizoram's Zoram Mega Food Park through video conferencing. According to a statement issued by the minister, this park will provide direct and indirect employment to 5000 people and will benefit about 25000 farmers in the areas of core processing center and primary processing center. It will annually trade about rupees 450 to 500 crores in about 30 food processing units located in the mega food park. It will be the first mega food park to be operated in the state of Mizoram. The project cost of this park is 75.20 crores. Another food park in Kamrang village of Kolasip district of Mizoram is also promoted by Zoram Mega Food Park Private Limited. It is noteworthy that a total of 88 projects aided by the Union Ministry of Food Processing Industries in the northeastern region have been approved of which 41 projects have been implemented. What is the name of the mobile application launched for turtles protection on the occasion of World Turtle Day? So the name of this mobile application is Kurma. A mobile application called Kurma was launched for turtle conservation on 23rd of May 2020, the World Turtles Day. The app has been developed by the Indian Turtle Conservation Action Network in collaboration with Turtle Survival Alliance India and Wildlife Conservation Society India. The app provides users with a database to identify the turtle species across the country as well as the location of the nearest conservation center. This digital database includes 29 species of turtles including India's freshwater turtles. 
the information about the identity distribution local name and crisis of the turtles can also be obtained uh, through this app a report released in 2019 by the international wildlife trade monitoring organization traffic states that at least 11000 common turtles and freshwater turtles are poached and smuggled every year Turtle Survival Alliance was established in the year 2001 in partnership with IUCN for sustainable captive management of freshwater turtles and common turtles. Which state or union territory has approved an insurance cover of rupees 25 lakhs for all its panchayat members? The name of the state is Jammu and Kashmir. On July 18th, 2020, the Jammu and Kashmir administration announced the life insurance cover of rupees 25 lakhs to all all the elected members of urban local bodies and panchayati raj institutions. The purpose of this provision for insurance is to provide a sense of security among elected members and strengthen democracy at the grassroots levels. This insurance provision is necessary for Jammu and Kashmir as elected members are constantly targeted by the terrorists. The Indian Navy has started passage exercise PASEX with which country? The name of the country is America. Indian Navy warships conducted a routing exercise PASEX with the US Navy's USS Nimitz carrier strike group near Andaman and Nicobar Islands amidst border confrontation with China four frontline indian naval ships including INS Shivalik INS Sahyadri INS Kamorta and INS Rana worked with USS Nimitz and three other US ships to conduct the exercise USS Nimitz is the largest aircraft carrier of the US Navy The goal of this exercise is to improve cooperation between US and Indian maritime forces and to promote training and interoperability including the air defense. What is the maximum sum insured under the standard corona coverage policy insurance cover? It is 5 lakh rupees. The Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India IRDAI has asked all the insurance companies to introduce a standardized insurance cover for covid-19 disease under the corona coverage policy the minimum sum insured will be rupees 50000 and maximum sum insured will be rupees 5 lakhs irdai has recently allowed the insurers to present this policy as a group insurance product 5% discount will be provided for the group of physicians and healthcare workers in this policy Which Indian vaccine manufacturer will begin human trials of the COVID-19 vaccine candidate Chedox 1 developed by Oxford University and AstraZeneca The name of the institute is Serum Institute of India The Pune based Serum Institute of India has announced that it will soon begin human trials of the COVID-19 vaccine candidate or Chedox 1 jointly developed by Oxford University and AstraZeneca. Serum Institute of India is the world's largest vaccine manufacturer. After getting the necessary permissions, trials will be conducted on about 5000 Indian volunteers by the end of August. The company has also expressed the possibility that the vaccine will be launched by June next year. The company will spend 200 million US dollars that is about rupees 1500 crores to manufacture 300 million uh, that is approximately 30 crore doses of this vaccine which indian origin nurse has been recently honored with the presidential award of singapore for outstanding services in this difficult time of covid-19 pandemic so the name of the indian origin nurse is kala narayana swami Indian origin nurse Kala Narayana Swami acted like a warrior in Singapore during corona pandemic. She has been conferred with the President's Award by the President of Singapore. 
She has been honored to serve in the front line in this difficult time of COVID-19 pandemic. Narayana Swami is the Deputy Director of Nursing at the Woodlands Health Campus who has been honored for using specific infection control practices at the time of the current pandemic which she had learned to deal with the infections during severe acute respiratory syndrome outbreak of 2003 So our last question is what is the name of a group of frogs seen in Narsingpur district of Madhya Pradesh recently so the name of uh, these group of frogs is yellow indian bullfrog a large group of yellow indian bullfrogs was seen in narsingpur district of madhya pradesh the indian bullfrog is usually light green in color but with an aim to attract the female frog male frog may change its color to bright yellow during reproduction during monsoon the scientific name of indian bullfrog is hoplobatricus tigerinus it is also known as tiger frog golden frog etc it is listed in the red list of iucn which is international union for conservation of nature category as a least concerned it is listed in the schedule 4 of the wildlife act of india 1972 which means that the species is not on the verge of extinction but is fine for hunting It is an indigenous species of India, Nepal, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Myanmar and Pakistan. So friends, with this we come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for being with us. We have tried to include few more important questions this time which would be really helpful for you from the point of view of upcoming competitive exams. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and share our video. In order to keep getting the updates on other current affairs related topics please press the bell icon thank you